<laughs> breathe in and breathe out. Everything is gonna be okay. Take one. Cue the birds in the background. This is Puerto Rico. Welcome. Hey guys, how are you doing? It's your girl Daima and her birds. <laughs> and the wildlife birds coming to you from Puerto Rico. Sunny Puerto Rico is beautiful and sunny outside. It's not too warm. Um, and I guess that's why we're hearing lots of birds. The birds are just chatting up a storm in the background today. I guess these last few days that has been semi cloudy and raining on and off, they haven't been able to catch up. So they're catching up on their gossip today and <laughs> making a whole bunch of sounds. So, Hey, um, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it it's soothing to you in any shape, form, or capacity. And that's the beautiful blessing slash experience that we get here while living on the island. We have all the time, there's chickens in a lot of places, even in urban settings. We can see horses, cows, all types of farm wildlife. It's like living on a big tropical farm. I myself living within a gated community still have a, a lovely resident rooster that I've named Jorge who, cro who crows every so often. So we might see him somewhat in the background today. Usually he likes to say hello and give a shout out, which by the way, hello and hola to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the familia. I'm so glad and happy to have you here. To all of you that found my channel through the fabulous and wonderful and gracious Glow Budgets, hello, welcome. And also I want to give a big thanks to, oh man, I don't want to forget her name. The Budgeting Real Realtor, I think it is. Oh, please forgive me if I forgot to say it. I'm going to link her down below. She also gave me a really nice, gracious shout out. So please check out her channel. Um, she does a really cool um, version of the um, Happy Mailbox Co. Sloth Challenge. If you haven't seen it, it's really cool. It's really great. You save 20 times, 1 through 20. So she has a really nifty way of doing it with um, different numbered envelopes and dice. And she rolls the dice to see like what roll she lands on and what amount she's going to save of the 1 through 20. And she does um, YouTube video, um, shorts videos with it. So please check her out. She's great. And Glow Budgets, of course, is fabulous. Check her out. She's really fun. She's funny and quirky and a Disney geek just like me and many of us out there. And she has a lot of great um, freebies and a cool Ko-Fi shop if you would like to support her there. And another shout out to my um, watch hour buddy, Miss Irene from Boop and Budgets. Please check her out too. She's great. Her channel is all about um, boop, um, Betty Boop theme challenges and her whole aesthetic is very with the red and the black and the whites. So I think you're going to love her channel. Very calm, relaxing, a fellow native Californian like me. Um, and she's doing a really cool version of the 100 envelope challenge where she's doing it in five dollar increments instead of like one dollar two dollar three dollars all the way up into the 100 envelopes right so she's doing it for five and five dollar um amounts so it she's a rock star it's going to be really cool to see how that progresses for her so please check out these lovely ladies and anyone else that i might um mention in the video will be linked down below so today i want to try my take and spin or try to do something of like a monday minis I've never dared to like really attempt it because to be honest, it didn't really um, fit my fancy like in the beginning when I would see it. But then it's kind of like grown on me, to be honest. To be honest, it's really grown on me. But of course, I have to do it typical my style, Daima style, mix it up a little bit um, just so I could keep it like a little bit more, what do you call it? Not so much entertaining, but more spontaneous, right? So I've decided to do my minis a little bit different i got a few um challenges that i've been wanting to to finish and incorporate so i fit and some that are already part of my previous challenges that you would see in my other videos so i figured that to get those like a little move on in between the other days when i do them i can incorporate them here in the minis with you guys 
So I have, let me show, let me count the money for this then. A hashtag to all the fellow Dory Brainians out there <laughs> like me. Then I'll forget and not, and not um, tell you how much we're working with. So we're working with 20. I have 20 here in ones. Y'all just gonna have to trust me because I know you know that as your tropical bestie, I'm not gonna lie. And I got a five here that I wanna put into one special challenge. At the end, we're gonna roll and give a five there and I'll get a little special boost. So I have here, I want to do, this is from Spooky Budgets. It is a low income scratch and save. It's only $35 and the amounts are um, three through eight. So I figured this will be a really cool one to incorporate in the minis because it is, you know, like a mini total and the amounts aren't too high. So I'm thinking of either a scratching, we could scratch one off and then work our way up to finish that one and then do another one and then do another one all the way until we finish. Or we could, for this first time, roll, see how much we get and then scratch it off and see if it fits that. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna make it up in a minute. And then also from Spooky Budgets, love her shop. Please check her out. She's amazing. This is a little freebie of a little zombie um, boy. Isn't he so cute? I love this. So I made each of these three dollars. And then I have from Steph's on a budget. This was also a freebie. I figured like this is perfect for the spring slash summer that we're going into. And it's a rainbow. I made these two, two dollars each. And then this is from Breathe and Budget. She has a really wonderful um, Etsy shop. I'm not exactly sure she has a YouTube. If she does, I'll link it down below, of course. So make myself happy. These are also going to be for two dollars. And we have Dory. Dory is one that I've made. This is part of a uh, part of my 100 envelope challenge that you see here that I did in my um, previous video. So to help like move this along, since this is a roll and save version that I did, I figured it'll be perfect for minis. I think Glow, cause I gifted this to her in the Happy Mail. I think she's also gonna start using some of these as minis. Cause the cool thing with like this challenge that I made that I'm hoping that I'll be able to get out, um, set up a shop and get out a version of this for you guys pretty soon. It, um, you could, it's so customizable. You basically have like two or three challenges in one. Like you could do the typical 100 envelope challenge if you want to and forego the whole rolling and just mark it off. Use this as a tracker. You could use it as a roll and save like I'm doing. You could use it for minis, roll and save minis and each one use it for your Monday minis if you like or for different mini challenges. I mean, there are just so many options in, in, in one, in one um, bundle, one packet, right? So... And then my last one is also from Spooky Buggers. Now, this is a pretty cool idea. I've been wanting to do this for a while because she gives these really cute like um, stickers and you could kind of like put the, the different facial features on the little dragon and she has one that's a witch and she has one that she gives away that that's like a little monster. So I was thinking I'm kind of like inspired by Liz and Les. Like Liz and Les, um, her sticker challenges are super famous. Everybody loves them and I have one too. They're great. I was thinking about trying to make like my own little version of it. So we're gonna roll and then little by little, we're gonna build our little dragon. He's so cute. And we gotta get up a name for him. So comment down below what name you think we should have for this cutie guy, girl. It could be a lovely they or them. And we could put the name down here, right? And I'm 100% I'm thinking I'm gonna give him that popsicle. <laughs> Because we got to put something in the hand. So I'm thinking he's, he or she or them is going to like the little popsicle, right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. These are my little minis. Okay. And let's go. So what do you think, guys? Let's do a little, let's scratch one off. We're going to roll. I'm going to put my little friend Crush. I wanted him to be with his, his known friend, Dory. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him to use. We're gonna roll and we're gonna count and see which one of these we're gonna scratch on first to work on during our minis before we get started. So let's see. So six. Oh, I guess then one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna start working on this little corner here. Let's see. And we have a seven. Okay, so we gotta work up towards a seven. 
before we scratch up another one. Oh, that's cool. I kind of, I really like this idea. I think I'm going to start putting in more scratch offs. I like this. Okay. Let's clean this up. Let's use this up a little bit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's not do ha have too much of a of an attack over here with the organization. All right, guys. So I'm gonna leave this five right here. Hope you guys could see. A little five right here and Lincoln is gonna go to a little special someone and we're gonna roll Miss Peaches here so she can have a little something nice to do let me put this out of the way for now and we're gonna get to rolling our minis so what do you think um, I'm a lefty okay I'm gonna leave them here all right so it's gonna be one two three four five six all right all right, okay, I'm liking this. I didn't think I was gonna like the minis, but I'm actually liking this. Now I, okay, it's like one of those things that you have to try it first to see if you're gonna like the idea. And sometimes just like seeing other people, you're like, oh yeah, whatever. It doesn't like really <laughs> inspire like much enthusiasm, but I'm liking this. And I still haven't even rolled my first one. Okay, so we got one. So each one's gonna get a dollar, by the way. So Miss Bell got a dollar, she's number one. Oh, are we going to do this in order? Can you imagine? No. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I gave him two. He's only supposed to get $1. Okay. Four. One, two, three, four. $1. Okay. Um, six. So six is going to get $1. One is... Ooh, Belle is making her way... Ooh, Belle. Oh, come on, man. Six. Belle is making her way to that seven. Come on, Dory. One, two, three... Miss Steph's challenge got a uh, got a dollar. We got a dollar for a zombie boy. Miss Bell is crushing it. Ooh, come on, come on, give me a five. <laughs> one again. You could do it. Five, one. No, I'm gonna shake this up, guys. No, that that's not gonna count. Obviously, should we count it? <laughs> I don't want to feel like I set it up. Okay. A six. I didn't want to cheat. I want Dory to have the realness. One again. What the heck? Okay. Dory, we're going to get you a five. We're going to get you one dollar, please. Three. <laughs> what if she gets the five dollars at the end? Wouldn't that be so sweet if she doesn't get any of the dollars? Bell again? I think we finished off the first one. Six. <gasps> one dollar for Dory, please. One dollar for Dory. <laughs> no. All right. Dory, I tried. I tried so hard. Let's try with Miss Peaches. Maybe Miss Peaches could do it. All right, Miss Peaches. We have five dollars that's going to one of these lovely challenges. Guys, pull all your energy so that Dory could get at least, at least this, at least something. She could be the victor, man. She could be the victor. All right. All right, you know what? I'm going to manifest. I'm going to put it right there on top of her because she's going to get that $5. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> she got it! She got it! Wow! You see? Y'all sent me positive vibes. You were rooting for her and she got the $5. And that is legit. That is legit. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Y'all don't know. This like made my day. Today's my birthday, by the way, so happy birthday to me. Shout out to all the fellow Aries and Tauruses. Um, wow, that's so cool. She got it. Yay. All right. So let's put all this in order then and get our little envelopes working. So I got a cool idea from another fab fabulous channel you guys should check out called Toby Budgets. If you are a cat freak like i am you'll love her channel so i have gotten these envelopes because of course guys you know i love everything to do with rainbows i got my rainbow larger challenge binder here that i love my a5 so i had already purchased this and i was thinking 
it was so cheap it was like five dollars it was one of those buys that, that you probably like shouldn't when you're trying to save money buy it because it's so cheap right unless you have a really good use for it but i couldn't pass it up it was only five dollars for 15 of these envelopes and they're rainbow and they're glitter and they're really good quality so i had bought them and i just got them yesterday and i had no idea what the heck to use them for but i knew that i would be able to find a use for them and then I checked out Tobin Bucket's channel and she uses them to house her minis by color. And I was like, oh, that's just like such a fabulous idea. So I have to um, pull from her inspiration and that right there. And I love um, color coordinating everything, like all my challenges in my A5 binder here that I have a few videos of that. Then we're working on the rainbow binder. They're all like color coordinated. So I love that idea. So this is like making me super happy. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I picked these up out in the wrong order. Hold on. That one's there. And then Dory got her five dollars. Oh, I'm still so happy that Dory got her five dollars. Y'all, that is so dope. Yeah, he just keeps winning. It shows up. Yay. Okay. So we gotta start with blue. I hope I made one for her here. Because that's a pretty big challenge. It's supposed to be without a binder. All right, so Miss Bell has, let's see if we got our $7. Miss Bell has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She got $10 out of the 25. Wow. So we're going to put, we got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these next three are going to roll over, right? Okay. So I'm gonna do it like that. That way I can remember. Or let's paper clip. Let's paper clip this to it with a nice little pretty blue paper clip. You see, guys, how I'm like so like trying to coordinate everything by color. Uh, maybe I played too much um, color and number when I was a kid. You guys, color by number, right? You guys ever play that? I remember playing that? The color by number. All right. Come on, Bill fit and I am determined to make her fit no matter what okay that goes there and this goes into the front for next time alrighty so then we're gonna do a nice little pinky color for a little zombie man And the zombie guy, these are worth three each. So we got one, two. Oh, we got one exactly to color one off. Oh, that's so cool. I'm happy. All right, let's color one off with a pinky, nice little pinky. I'm gonna do all of these pinky and green to go with the whole aesthetic. I'm trying to do like um, Simply Living Saves. Check out her channel. I love how she colors everything in. Everything that she colors in is like so beautiful and aesthetic. I don't know how the heck she does it because I try to do it sometimes and it doesn't work for me the first time around. And then I realize, damn it, I should have used that color. I should use the other color. All right. Good start, Mr. Zombie Guy. Got to find a little name for him. And then we got yellow. Let's get a yellow envelope here oh wow that's cool it got exactly two also yay all right and we're gonna try to do these rainbow colors <laughs> let's see if we could do it nice so let's start off with yellow why not i am determined to do a nice little coloring aesthetic Perfect, loving it. Yay! Okay, I'm I'm so seeing why you guys like the biddies. I'm so seeing. This is so dope. I think it's also because you don't have to think so much. You just throw it in there. I just really had to like go with the vibe with it and and trust the process that there's a reason why everybody likes it. Sometimes we just gotta believe in it that way. All right. So this one is also going to be going into, no, it's going to be going into a nice little purple envelope because that's what we want. And each one is two, so I'm going to color in half of one. Why not? Oops. Got 
half of a heart. So this heart's looking for its other half. I'm not sure what to do with these yet. I mean, like the ones that aren't part of other challenges. I'll figure it out. I'm just gonna have fun with it for now. Not everything has to be, oh, I didn't even put my dollar in. Not everything has to be like too, too serious. Especially when it comes to Monday minis. Monday minis are for having fun. All right, so Miss Dory is gonna go into this little blue, blue one. And I kept her in this because I want to, since this is part of my um, 100 envelope challenge, I want to be able, when this is filled out, put it back in there. So I'm going to keep this in here. And she got $5, right? So we're going to mark off because this we could always clean off afterwards with alcohol to get rid of the permanent marker. So we are going to mark off for her. Let's see. Did I want to do everyone as three or am I going to do each one just whatever it gets that day? I think that's what I'm going to do. That it, whatever it gets that day, that's what it gets because it's a roll and save, right? Okay, so we're going to ignore this three and Dory's going to get a five for her first one. And whatever we get next time in this envelope is what we're going to put. So later on, I'll mark this off. All right, I'm loving that idea. See? Sometimes you just got to make things your own, however you most enjoy them. There's no wrong or right, or right way to say it. I can't even pronounce my, my R's, y'all. I couldn't even pronounce them when I was a kid either. I'm going to have to do it like this. <gasps> Miss Dory, you don't fit, girl. How do I get you a fit in here? I'm, I'm going to have to find a way. I'll find a way, guys, off camera. All right. Ooh, I'm so happy to get to this part. Okay, let's get a yellow out because our little buddy's going to be yellow. Let's build us a little dragon. And the dragon got one, two, three, four. Ooh, so we got enough for two little eyes. We have enough for, because each eye is $2, so we could do that. Or we can do, we could give him one eyeball. <laughs> And a little hair bow. Let's do eyes. Which eyes do you like, guys? I'm thinking these. I'm thinking these. Or this one with the little expressive eyebrows. And there's a little shady one. I don't know which one. I like all of them except this one. Um, Let's roll it. Let's roll it. When in doubt, roll it out. So this is going to be... I number one, I number two, and I number three. All right, and let's see if we could get, oh, wait a minute, I have a three-sided dice here. Let's do that. Okay, let me get my three-sided dice. Hold on a second. Oh, good thing it's not lopsided because then he's going to be looking like he's winking at us. <laughs> All right, pressure, the pressure for perfection. Yay, he got two little eyesies. No, but those are worth $3. Oh, well, we're going to make them two, guys, because we're not going to use these. So these are going to be worth two. That's cool. That's cool. It's my challenge. I could change if I want to. Alrighty, so. Put all these away because I just cannot with all the mess. And I am going to... Switch these to twos. Because that what we do. There we go. So these are done. 
All right. We got four for him, and I hope this little guy fits in here. Yay. Perfect. All right, we're good to go. So thank you guys for stopping by. Oh, I love doing this. This was so fun. I don't know who came up with this idea, but whoever came up with this idea is a genius and they have a, they're a kid at heart. They're definitely a kid at heart because this is like so fun. All right. So like always, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you would like to stick for this portion of the video, I always like to pull a little affirmation card, um, self-care wisdom cards. These are from Amazon. It's just a little affirmation to help set the tone for what we would, for what I would like to, you know, invite and bring in to my budgeting journey and my life as the rest of the day goes on and the rest of the week. So feel free to join. If not, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you having you having you here more than you know. I love it. I'm making so many nice new friends with all of you guys and everybody is so gracious. And this is just such a beautiful, 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 beautiful community. And I mean that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like it's just it's amazing how something that could somewhat be or that we're like conditioned to believe that is stressful, like finances and budgeting and and you know the economy and all all type of you know financial things could bring together so many people in such a loving beautiful way like that's just it's amazing to me it really it really is amazing to me and it's and it's such a blessing and i feel like each and every one of us that are here that either watches just watches the videos or has their own channel or is just you know randomly popped up to see somebody's video from this community you are so blessed just know that you are so blessed because the vibes and the energy coming out of this space the space that we have created is just it's amazing it really is amazing so i want to thank all of you all because it is thanks to you guys that we have this it's thanks to each and every one of us that we have this space that we are so blessed and that's going to be what i'm thinking of because i always like to think of a little something while i'm shuffling that i want to be grateful and happy for so that is my little focus point for this shuffling and for this card pull. And we're going to pull one. Let's see if Hordehead does a little stop by, gives us a little crow. He likes to crow a lot of times when we do these little um, affirmation. <laughs> affirmation messages. He loves to crow and give a shout out. So if he does, that means that we need to listen up to whatever comes out of these cards. That's a sign. All right. Oh, we got a plane going up over us too. All right, one, two, three, and I'm gonna pick this one. Ooh, patience. Now, ain't that the truth? Like, that's the biggest thing I think when it comes to finances. You have to be patient. We have to be patient. I love that. And of course it has a cat. <laughs> I love dogs too. I know not everybody's a cat person. I just love cats because they're like so themselves, right? Like, I always say that they're like little furry toddlers, independent toddlers, and a furry body with tails. Like, they love us and they snuggle up to us. And at the same time, they just want us to leave them alone so they could do their own thing. I just love them. All right, patience. And it's just one line, because I guess that's how simple it is. It is safe to wait beautiful guys so that's all i got for you i hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend if you're watching this on the weekend i hope you're having if not if you're beginning your week i hope you have a great start to your week it's a blessing to be able to have another week to to live and to do all the things and improve our life and grow and have joy and even if it's um difficult times just know that that too shall pass. Nothing is permanent. And that's the beauty also of life. If you're in the middle of the week, happy hump, happy hump day. You could do it. You're almost there. You're almost there. The glass is half full, okay? It's not half empty. It's half full. If you're at the end of the week, congratulations. Woo, woo, woo. Um, the weekend is coming. You earned it. You deserve it. Relax, have fun, enjoy. And if you're one of the lovely people that works every single day, 
I am sending you lots of strength, vibes, and positivity, and you got this, and you'll be able to accomplish anything through your hard work. So take care, lovelies. Bye. Adios.